So, welcome back to Dragon Valley, the map coming in the newly named Legacy Operations DLC. Lots of changes, improvements and setbacks have occurred since the last time I showed footage here, and I wanted to go over some of those today. I haven't really covered this map as much as I did the community map, Operation Outbreak, but that's really because this map hasn't been designed with the help of the community. Sure, we've helped DICE test new stuff like different layouts and game modes, etc. But all of those choices have been made by the developers themselves. And I'll be honest, there's not as much to update you with on this map as there has been with the jungle map. But this week, they made some really big changes. First of all, a couple of weeks ago, the Rush implementation of Dragon Valley made its way in. Dysolate are taking a slightly different approach with Rush here, and instead of going for the standard Battlefield 4 three sets of MCOMs, they're stepping it up a little bit further and making it a full five set MCOM map, and they're calling it Rush Large. This is my first issue with the most recent implementation. Five set MCOM maps shouldn't be called Rush Large. Why? Well, for one, in previous games, it was common for Rush maps to have five MCOM sets. Arica Harbor and Valparaiso from Bad Company 2, and even Damavan Peak from Battlefield 3 are examples of that. Just because Rush mode has basically been shunted to the back of the queue when it's come to game modes in Battlefield 4, doesn't mean when a proper Rush map, and in my experience, a normal amount of MCOM sets be added to a map, should the name be changed. If the devs were to do this properly, all Rush maps in Battlefield 4 that have four MCOM sets or less should be renamed to Rush Small. And I'm going to be really honest here and say that five MCOMs isn't really enough. I mean, this map is absolutely massive. They could have stepped it way up and gone for six or even seven MCOM sets and included some of the outer extremities of the map. I don't know, I guess I'm just a little bit disappointed with the implementation. When you hear the word large, you expect it to be bigger than what is currently on offer. I'm sorry, but with the sheer size of this map and the usable locations and the linear focus of Rush, it could have been so much more impressive than what is currently on offer. Don't get me wrong though, the map is <laughs> probably the best Rush map in the game, and when the DLC drops later this month, I'm sure people who like Rush will agree with me, but it could have been so much more. Next, and uh, the news doesn't get any better, we've seen a big downgrade in graphics for the map. The volumetric clouds that were present in previous builds, which made the skies dense with fog and casted different lights over the map at different times as the game played out, they're all gone. On a post on the CTE Reddit, JJJU, one of DICE LA's developers, stated that nothing more can be added to Dragon Valley since they've already hit the low spec PC limit for memory. And if anything, they'll have to remove more stuff to make sure they fully hit that target. Now that is a big disappointment, but it is understandable. This is the CTE after all, a testing ground for features, and Dysolay do say in their terms and conditions that not all prototype items will make it into the final version. That doesn't stop me being a little bit heartbroken though, as those clouds made the map truly unique and different to all others that are currently in the game. And along with those clouds, various unique items to the map have been removed in favour of items already in the base game to save further memory space. Things like one of the pagodas up in the hills, that's gone. The helipad, which was at one of the objectives, that's gone as well. And the heli that sat on it will be removed in a further update coming next week. And on top of all of this, I'm pretty sure the tree line count has been reduced around the map as well. The mountainside seems to be a little bit barer and much more visible than it used to be. So I'm guessing that means less polygons to be rendered by your graphics card or by your console, which would overall make the game run smoother and give you an overall better experience. Again, I'm not going to lie, this is a disappointment as the map did look visually stunning. And that's not to say it doesn't anymore, it still does look very, very good, but it has taken a nerf overall. And finally, and this is probably the biggest change that I'm opposed to overall, 
Dysole have decided to make a change that I think a lot of other players won't like. They've added the mobile anti-air into this map. To balance its inclusion, the devs have removed the attack boats from the map, which in my opinion were better, as they offered an another layer of significant combat onto the map, which was naval combat, and the mobile AA has replaced one of the main battle tanks in each of the faction's bases. Now that the MAA is here on this map, and Dice LA decided to remove the clouds, I think we all know what's going to happen. The mobile AA is stupidly powerful anyway, and not only against air vehicles, but infantry as well, and now they have a clear sky to pick their targets from. This for me is not a decision that I liked, but in practice, so far it's been hard for me to tell what kind of difference this is really going to make. I played on the CTE for about two hours, two and a half hours earlier, but the 64-man server never really filled up. So the MAA wasn't always present on the map, which makes it hard to know what kind of effect it's going to have on the gameplay. I'm hoping it's not too bad, but I really, really hope that they just decide to go back, remove the MAA, and have attack boats, because overall, it's just a nicer blend of combat overall, and I'm pretty sure that no one likes the MAA, and it would just be nice to have a map with aerial combat, but with a different way of combating it, with the attack boats and things like that, and not just having the MAA on there, because it really is the only thing that can take things out of the sky effectively. So as you can see, the Dragon Valley map really has taken an arrow to the knee here, and it's been downgraded somewhat. Dice LA were open in admitting, though, that it was kind of their fault for going full steam ahead with development, and tried to make the map so big and full of stuff that they forgot to try and hit targets for specification on certain systems. Never mind, eh, though? I know this video might seem a bit negative, but Dragon Valley along with Operation Outbreak, I don't think there are two better maps in this game right now. And it just goes to show that the hard work and a change in development can bring a lot of awesome stuff in the future. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about some of these changes, most specifically the mobile AA inclusion. I think that's going to anger a lot of people. And while you're down there in the comments, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.